Hey guys, thanks for joining me tonight. Tonight we have a fun project that I saw actually on Pinterest. Um, it was from this silver farmhouse um, and it's a prim primitive shaggy bunny. And I just thought it was super cute. It's super cheap and it would be a fun project to do. So we're gonna do it. So the first thing you're gonna need is a bunny shape. And I just went on line and found the bunny shape that I wanted and then I made it big enough. Let's see how big this guy is. He is He's about 12 inches. So, um and his widest part is about 6. So, I just made him big enough on a piece of paper and it's cardstock, um just so I can trace him out. So, I'm going to trace him out on a piece of cardboard. Um, so let's do that really quick. Okay, so I have this cutting mat that I'm going to put underneath it, so I don't cut my table. Um, I probably could just cut it with a pair of scissors, but we're going to try this. See how it goes. Just got to do his tail over here. This cardboard has <clears throat> had a better day or two. <laughs> I used it the other night for cutting something out, so it looks all wonky. All right, so I think that's good enough. There's our cardboard bunny. And now, oh, I might still need this, so let's put him aside. So look at, this is the, um, this is the shaggy part of him. These are from the dollar store. It's a little back, <clears throat> it's a little back mat. So we're gonna cut him out of that twice. So I'm just going to put him on here. And I'm gonna use a pen I'm gonna use a um, a sharpie. And then we'll cut it out. I'm gonna do him twice because we want him on both sides. Do you like the smell of Sharpies? I know it's weird. Probably not healthy either, but I like it. Now I'm gonna turn him over and trace him over here so we can put one on each side. Okay, let's cut them out. Then we're gonna glue them on. You know, I, you can talk and cut at the same time, Amy. <laughs> I know. Okay, well, I'm going to cut these out. I'll be right back. Okay. So I have him come, uh, cut out now, and what we're going to do is we're going to glue him to our cardboard. And I cut him a little bit bigger than um, 
the pattern so that I could go over the edges of the cardboard. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Just gonna put some glue down at the bottom. And this, um, this fabric is a little bit stretchy, which is nice. So I'm gonna just lay this down here where I want it. And then I'm gonna just pull it and push it down. I just wanna cover up that cardboard a little bit on the edges. And then what I'm gonna do is just glue him down and then I can pull it to, uh, on the edges. So let's just glue him. This is Gorilla Glue. So it'll never come off. Probably never ever come off. And I think once we get them cut out, it's just a few minutes and it's done. The hardest part is cutting his, cutting him out. Okay, let's glue on the back side. I'll do the bottom first, get it lined up. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get a glue stick ready. And let's glue, glue stick please. These little glue sticks, man, they go, they, you go through them fast. Okay, he is glued on. Look at that. Now what I'm gonna do is go around the edges real quick and, and just glue the sides together. And we'll finish that and we'll be right back. Okay, so our bunny is all the way done. We just went ahead and went around, I just went ahead and glued all the edges together. Again, I cut it a little bit bigger than the um, cardboard so that I could just pinch the edges together. So glue them and pinch them together so that you can't see the cardboard. Oh. So he's all done. Dog. The dog's chasing the cat. The dog is never going to learn. The cat doesn't like him. Okay, so for the tail, I think what we should do is I have a, um, this is a, it's a dish towel from the dollar store. It's one of those um, tea towels and it's just white. So um, I think we're just going to make like a, like a pom pom with it. So I'm gonna cut four strips out of it and I'm just gonna tear it because I want it to have that kind of shaggy look to it. So I'm gonna cut four slits up here at the top and then we're just gonna rip it. And we're gonna wrap it around our hand and make a little pom-pom. So just rip it. And I'm gonna do four strips. And then what we're gonna do is just wrap it around our hand. So I'm gonna wrap each one around my hand. And we're just gonna make a little pom pom, and then you you can cut it to be the size you like, the shagginess of it. So I'm just gonna use some twine, and um, when I pull it off my hand, I'm gonna find the center, and I'm just gonna tie a knot right in the center.
and I'm going to double knot it. And then what you're going to do is just take your scissors and you're going to cut all the way through on both sides. And then you just make your pom-pom. So you just fluff it out. And then you can make it shorter. You can make it, you know, if you did um, longer strips, not how you would do longer strips, but. And then when we glue it here, we can just fluff it up. You can make it shorter. And I thought we'd just glue that on his little boombie. I think that'll be a cute little tail. Maybe I should um, make it shorter though, huh? So let's just make it a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna take my scissors, just cut through the fabric and make it a little bit shorter. Yeah, that'll be cute. Okay, I'm gonna glue that on, his little boom bean. So I'm just going to put some glue right here. Glue that on his little tail area. Or boom bean. Fluff it up. And I do want to cut this, this off because it doesn't belong with the right color. So I'm going to cut that off. Fluff it up a little bit. Now we are going to make a little tag for his neck. So we are going to do it on one of the chalkable tags and um, it's going to hang that way. And I thought we would do from this collection, which is called, um, Pity hop. <laughs> I can never find it. It's right there. Right in front of my face. Alright. Um, the cats and dogs are fighting in here. Um, I want to do Hoppy Easter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this transfer off. And we're only going to use the words um, Hoppy Easter. So I am going to wax this. I'm going to sand it a little bit and then I'm going to wax it. And then we'll put that down and we're going to use black paste. wax it. Everything is falling down. Everything is falling down. I need to clean up in here. So let's wax it really quick. And then I'm just going to buff it, make sure it's nice and in there. Okay, let me get my black paste and a squeegee. Okay, so we're going to put the Easter down here. So I'm going to put the hoppy leg right here because we'll put a bow at the top. Of course we're going to put a bow. Silly question. Put a bow on almost everything. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Just want to make sure it's down. I'm gonna go over the silk screen, pull up the excess, pull it off, and I want to dry that really quick before I lay the transfer down again. And you don't want to heat 
put heat on your transfers because it will melt. I just want to make sure this is dry before I put it back down to put the Easter. Okay, now we're going to put the Easter on. Put it down here at the bottom. Hopefully it's even. Just going to press it down. I'm just kind of holding this up so you might not be able to see it very well. And I'm going to squeegee the Easter on. Pull up the excess. Pull this off. I'm going to put this over here for now and take it downstairs and wash it so I can use it again. I put my paste away and then before I start messing with this I just want to dry it and then I think we're going to use one of these little rusty stars on my haircut in the dryer and this to make a bow mm. I got some um, rustiness stuck in the arm. Some of my rust fell off my star and got stuck in my arm. Fine. Okay. So we're going to make a bow out of this. I like you. I like making fabric bows because they're um, really rustic that way. So I'm just going to like we did the tea towel. I'm just going to cut. And rip. Make sure sometimes you have to make sure you're cutting the right way. And that is good enough. Well, no, it didn't make it big enough. Um, let's try it again. So I'm just going to cut the fabric and then I'm going to rip and tear. So I'm just going to cut here make a little slit and then I'm going to just rip the fabric. Okay so we just put the twine in the in the tag and we're going to tie it with the bow. So I'm just going to um, make a um, an awareness type bow. So I just put that like make the awareness type and then you just um, pull it down and put it in the center like that. And then what I'm gonna do is just tie a knot right in the center of it with this twine that we have on the tag. And I'm gonna double knot it. And then I'm gonna put this little rusty star, I'm going to um, just glue it on right in the middle there. So, put a little glue up here. We're gonna have ourselves a, look at that rust is going everywhere. We're gonna have ourselves a, rust, a rustic little primitive bunny. And then I'm just going to glue the tag right to the bunny. So I'm just gonna put some glue on here. Hold it there for a minute. And then you can play with your bow, play with your tail. Show it to you in one second. And we've got a cute little primitive, let's see, how much did it cost? A couple of dollars of supplies at the dollar store. I have the tea towel 
and the bath mats, the bath mat, it was one bath mat, and I used a piece of cardboard from probably one of the Amazon boxes, and just the tag. Now, how cute is that? Well, if you liked it and you think someone else will like it, make sure to sprinkle the love and um, give me some hearts and some likes. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.